Hello guys, welcome back to more Root Double Before Crime After Days. Here we are in Area 6, trying to find some more AD. We found some last time, thank God. So we were able to save off death for just a little while longer. But we found a very interesting disaster manual here. It says, in the event of a fire, earthquake, or other such disasters, the elevators will automatically ascend to the surface floors and stay there. This is because there is a risk that the elevators could stop on operation due to an unpredictable shock therefore trapping the passage. Please use the emergency staircases located in each block to evacuate. However, Area 6's outer ring does not have any emergency staircases due to security risks in the facility structure. Therefore, all staff should evacuate through the inner ring, but if a situation arises where that becomes too difficult, please evacuate through the cargo lift. Unlike the normal elevators, the cargo lift is extremely sturdy. In theory, it should be able to resist even magnitude 7 earthquakes and have very little risk of stopping. Therefore, all staff members are granted temporary permission to use the lift to evacuate during a crisis. Please use it to properly evacuate to the surface. The same rights will also be granted in the event of a case N. Should evacuation of the facility become impossible due to the bulkhead lockdown, the cargo lift can be used to evacuate to the safe zone on the surface floors. This is good news. The two of them started trembling when they read that passage. It does mean we can get out of here. I'm so happy. We're tossing Kazami looked at each other. They were both grinning from ear to ear. After being trapped in the basement all this time, they finally found the clue they needed about the one escape route that still worked. Does it say? あの焼けただれたファクトリーのどこかにあるんでしょう。しかし先に要求受者の捜索です。脱出口が見つかっても要求受者を確保してなきゃ無意味ですから。That's true. We gotta find those survivors. Dana. Watashi shoved the manual into his pocket and ran out of the room. However, in the end, they went through all the rooms yet found no hide nor hair of the survivors or any AD. 連絡通路も確認しよう。隅々まで探すんだ。Two of them headed for the connecting passageway that led to the factory. But the passageway was blocked by debris further in, so they couldn't travel past that. The only thing up ahead was the factory, meaning that they had completed their search of the inner ring. Tossi frowned in puzzlement as they turned around. What if they already got out? Maybe they found the cargo lift. Before Tasi could say any more, he suddenly heard a sound at his feet. What the hell is that? Well, Tasi looked down in surprise to see that there were cracks where Kazami was standing. The floor's given way! This is what Tasi thought that time slowed down for him. He was seeing everything in slow motion. Kazami noticed the sudden change in her situation and tried to react immediately, but a second later, the floor at her feet collapsed. No! Tassi shot his hand out as fast as lightning grabbed Kazami's arm. Pain ran through his cracked ribs instantly. But he put up with it, and he grasped Kazami's arm tightly. Dust blew up from the crumbled floor, but it soon began to clear up. No! Look at that! No! She's falling! Revealing Kazami's face on the other side. あ、危ないところだったな。立花。と、さに反応できて良かったぜ。実際大した問題よな。このカササギ渡せってやつの体はさ。Kazami <laughs> smiled when she heard that. 隊長は記憶喪失でもやっぱり私たちの隊長なんですね。Damn right. みたいだな。だが、感心するのは後だ。引き上げるから、そっちの手も貸してくれ。はい。Mitsushi grabbed onto Kazami's hands and pulled her up in one big, great motion. ありがとうございました、隊長。怪我はないか。はい。Good. そうか。よかった。Mitsushi looked at the now partially collapsed passageway. 第6エリアは。よほど火災によるダメージがひどかったんだな。そうですね。他の皆さんは無事でしょうか。早く戻って、みんなの無事を確認しよう。Tossing Kazami then broke off into a dash. The team climbed down the rope of the staircase and returned to the factory on B2, only to find others running towards them. 隊長、何かあったの？なんかドスンって音が鳴ったけど。
いや、大したことないさ。連絡崩れただけだ。Group had already finished exploring all the areas in Lebo. Except for area. Yeah. But we can't go in there, so we're not gonna be exploring that. They had found the survivors anywhere, not even any bodies of them. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe they've already gotten out. Maybe they ran across the same papers we did. And the others look confused at Watashi's proclamation. Watashi said that and shoved the disaster prevention manually found earlier to the others. So the laboratory does something right for a change. That's ファクトリーの中にそれっぽいリフトはなかったか。見つからなかったけど、もしかしたらあれかも。That. June turned and looked around at the corner of a factory. There she was staring at the farthest wall from them, where, for some reason, a security gate stood. なんであんなところにセキュリティゲートが。不自然なところにあったから、私らも気にはなってたんだけどさ。セキュリティスロットが完全に消失してて。中に入れなかったんだ。でも、ファクトリー内で未捜索の場所はあのゲートの向こうだけ。ハンスリフトってのがあるとしたら、あの向こうにあることは間違いないわ。<笑> Their journey full of hardships was finally coming to an end. Okay, we're going to go back to the gate. We're going to go Great. We don't know, that's why we're brainstorming here. Damn it! The exit gate's right in front of us! It tempts us! We have to get that gate open no matter what it takes, so that we can save Yuri and the others. But just as Watasi thought this, That's probably a good thing. <gasps> oh no. Watasi instantly felt a shock run through his spine. Several large objects were falling from above. Taken aback by this, he looked up to see the ceiling was breaking apart. Mina! The ceiling started to collapse at the same time he shouted that. Oh my god. <laughs> Mina and Yuka just screamed. Debris, pebbles, scraps of iron, steel frames, and iron plates came falling down one after another. Very <laughs> tripped and fell on her backside. It was that moment that a remarkably huge panel, one about five square meters big, fell straight towards her. Yuri! Watasi darted for Yuri and shielded her with his body. A moment later, an impact ran through Watasi's back. Ow. It intercepted the falling ceiling panel with his back. The panel itself was only about 20 kilograms, all that heavy. With Yuri lying under him, Watasi got up on all fours and tried to push the panel up and off of him with his back. I need to get this off me quickly. But even more debris came falling down at that moment. His back was assaulted with impacts and passed through the panel. The panel's weight suddenly increased tenfold at the same time with great force. Watasi tried to back away from it, but his body wouldn't respond. Shit! He had no way of estimating how much debris piled up on his back. 
150 kilograms, 200 kilograms, whatever it was, it was so heavy that it felt like his arms and legs were going to break right then and there. But he locked eyes with Yuri just at that moment. Watasi's face was reflected in those eyes, shrouded with fear and despair. I have to hang, or Yuri will be crushed with me. Watasi filled his arms and legs with strength, supporting the weight of the debris. All he could think about was protecting Yuri. The sound of the ceiling caving in soon stopped. Leaving Watasi and Yuri trapped under a mountain of debris. Oh, look at those eyes. Oh. Yuri looked up at him with wide eyes. Just then, something leaked down onto her dusty cheeks. It was Watasi's blood. Did I hit the back of my head too much? Watasi ignored the pain and spoke. Yuri, I'm I'll be fine. This is nothing. Matasi said that and gave her an awkward smile. You know, because she was about to burst into tears, poor girl. Then they heard voices of the others who'd managed to escape the rain of debris in time. Help us. Yuri then started screaming as loud as she could so the others would hear. The gears in Watasi's mind started turning. Please don't feel regret. It would probably be very difficult to get rid of the debris with human hands. And the fact that his stamina would eventually run out meant they had to act fast. Come on, think! We should be able to come up with something. It's the best way to make sure that Yuri survives. Atasi then allowed himself to be guided by his instincts and began shouting to those outside the <laughs>大地エリアを経由すればそれほど時間はかからないはずだ。立花と先生とおっさんは俺の上の瓦礫をどけられるだけどけてくれ。わ、わかりました。時間がない。みんな頼む。了解。隊長、日本以内に戻るから頑張って
And we're going to find out next time on Root Double. Take it easy. <laughs>